a perfect deal. Man is a mortal being and all his belongings are also perishable. Only one of his possessions that lasts for ages after he is gone is his glory. One who earns this preeminence is indeed most successful in the business of life, even if he has sacrificed or lost on the materialistic front. His trade is like, for example, that of getting a new stout building in return of selling off an unused heap of hay. Great ones are those who refine and excel their lives up to glorious heights, worth the dignity of human life. Dormant lives of others mushroom and end like that of any other creature who survives just to fill the tummy and quench the sensual thirst. Though stuck in the peripheries of selfish possession and attachments are short-sighted and remain careless of the future. Their lives, their activities, despite the physical dynamism and alacrity are no better than movable corpse. A dormant life is no life. Fools gather more and more of wealth and resources so that their beloved ones would enjoy it all generations after generations. They spend all their time, talents and efforts in insane and at times unfair possession and its safety. Wouldn't it be wiser of them if they had employed their resources prudently in the activities of progress and welfare? This would have brightened their own future as well along with supporting more and more people around and contributing in constructive reformation and development. Draining or throwing away the useful things and collecting the rubbish or hazardous one is a clear sign of insanity. Aren't they mindless who invite enmity all the time by using absurd, abusive, acrimonious tongue? Anybody, howsoever learned, skillful and smart he might be, is unwise if, instead of augmenting the virtuous qualities, he opts for vices and weaknesses. Akhanda Jyoti, October and November 1942